Familia, familia, guess whose voice is coming back? <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, the previous video, the YSL concealer, my voice was gone, gone, because I'll celebrate my birthday and you know how I be. So I'm back. <laughs> I'm legit so excited. Like I just took my voice for granted. Ah. Oh. But anyway, hello, my name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all these goodies. I'm here legit daily too. I am like pumped. I went to the gym. What else did I do? Oh, I hiked. I had breakfast, coffee. I'm having my tea. And okay, this is a good video. You guys, today's video so fun ah. as you know i've been vlogging and if you haven't seen my vlogs you have to check them out i've done seven already the eighth one is coming up this week so in vlog seven though i did unbox la girl fit this massive thing not thing the concealers and i said let's do a full face cream blush cream contour foundation highlight we're doing it all today talking about vlogs in every vlog i do giveaways if i already have the shade here i'm gonna put it in the giveaway bin so you know i have stuff to give away to <laughs> do everything cream because everything here is cream and i don't know hold on hold on let me think first of all let me grab what i already have and then we'll start these are the ones i have wow there's so many there's iridescent glow we're gonna use this and there's also champagne radiant glow as a glow kind of like the halo glow okay 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 i really like the dark yellow the dark yellow is great for color correcting it light yellow is good too but for me i feel like the dark is better green i don't need green let's do red and let's do white this is gonna be our blush okay now let's contour espresso espresso i think that's too deep beautiful bronze yeah okay okay concealer shades i have these classic ivory and tawny we'll use that foundation shades this is what's gonna get interesting because the concealers they're all too light for my skin tone. Like this is the deepest, but it's still like more concealer shade. So we're gonna create our own. Beautiful bronze, mix it in with a little bit of white, yellow, and probably the red. To create a neutral undertone. Cause you see how this is cool as in a little reddish. We need a little bit of warmth. Girl, we're about to be some magicians here. And let's use a sponge. And then I'll put the other sponge in the giveaway. Here, I'm gonna keep this out. You guys, I'm a mess, but I'm gonna keep it out to look at it. I'm drinking my tea to get this voice right. I'm gonna be drinking tea. I've been drinking tea for the last three days. I'm like kind of scared because I don't know where this is gonna go. We're gonna use all of these. <laughs> ah! I'm so excited. Okay, let's for real prime the skin. You guys know this is, I feel like now this is the oldie but goodie. It's no longer new. And I like to really just press it in. I already did my skincare. I did that like an hour ago. No, not an hour. What time is it? Yeah, maybe an hour ago. <laughs> but I've been like, you know, I made my tea. I've had like a slower morning today and I'm kind of loving it. But let's let this dry because it's a little wet. When it dries, it gets to that sticky effect. All right, it's going down. Okay, so I'm gonna do underpainting first. They have like a straight up iridescent. Iridescent? Iridescent? Iridescent. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Let's open up the sponge. Is it soft? Oh wow, it's soft. I could have swore the last time I used their sponge, it was hard as heck. Primer's nice and sticky. We're gonna use the iridescent shade. So this is iridescent highlighter, champagne highlighter. Let's see. Ah, this one's a little too deep. This one is light. So let's see. It kind of did like a little poop. My hand is going to be my canvas because why not? And I want to show you how these look. You see that? You guys know I'm never really prepared. I don't know. I like to just kind of freestyle. That's just my, my way of doing things. Do I need a little bit of the... Dang. Okay. Girl, you see that? So this is a perfect like highlighter. Oh dang. Because I have oily skin, I like to highlight on the top of the cheeks and then the top of the forehead. This is where naturally you just glow more. I avoid the middle area. I could add a little bit, I think a little more of the, the white one because this may be a little bit. No, actually no. This is nice. Like you can actually put the white one here. Not white, but you see it's like a purple tone girl girl tin woman okay 
Typically, we like to do that underneath, right? So when the skin warms up, you get that nice natural glow. I naturally have a glow because I got oily skin. Now I'm just getting really excited. Okay, okay, okay. We are going to use, so with beautiful bronze, we're gonna start shaping out the face, which means we're gonna cream contour. I wanna start off very little. You know, that's what I always say, but you know how I end up, but today for real. I'm gonna add a little bit of eye pr base primer. I like this one because it has a bit of a tint and I'm running out. So are we technically doing like a full face of LA girl? I think so, right? Because I owe you guys two videos. So this is one of them. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go like this. Now I want to, we're gonna keep going here. I really wanna like shape very well. Here's to give us like create a little bit of shadow, shadow underneath. I love the ease. Like these have always been such a staple because they're so easy and creamy to use. Look at it. Next, we want to use a little bit of the yellow. This is yellow, right? Yellow corrector. Like a little bit right here. And yellow, I'll put a color wheel up here. Yellow helps color correct and cancel out blues and purples. That's what I kind of have. Peach helps, but I feel like yellow gives me more of a highlighted look. Let's use the light yellow just a little bit, like right here. Let's create a blush shade. I think I wanna use a little bit of the reddish corrector. This also can correct dark under eyes. And then we can add a little bit of the peach to lighten it up a little bit. We can create a shimmer cream blush, but let's use the white. White, let's do a little mixeroo, mixeroo. That's too light, let's add a little more red. There we go, our blush shade. Mm. I'm looking funny, funny. And now we're gonna create our foundation shade. I'm like, let me be more professional. I lost it, my tea. Foundation shade is gonna consist of this, this, a little bit of yellow, maybe pink, I don't know. Let's see. So we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit of this. I'm gonna do a lot just cause I always end up not having enough, I feel. Better more than less. Yeah, you see it's a little like red. So we need yellow to warm it up a little bit. We need white to lighten it because now, ooh, girl, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, LA girl, dang. That may be too much white, it's okay. Should we add a little bit of a peach? Like a, a little dot here? This is what we're working with. Let's see if I can create my foundation shade. I'm too amped for this. I wanna get a flat brush and see. Okay, okay, she's looking brown, she's looking brown. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, ooh, we got, we got our shade, we got our shade. So now we're gonna go just around all the areas. Wait, is this how it is when you underpaint? No, I think you have to blend first, right? It's okay. Girl, now I'm forgetting. I think it's not like this, but it's okay. I'm gonna get my sponge. And this is where the magic is about to happen. We're gonna start blending. I'm gonna blend the contour out first and then focus on like the foundation. I think I'm supposed to blend it first. If not, it's okay. With the sponge, it's tricky because it'll, you see how it spreads things out? I would say ideally a brush, but because we have the sponge, why not? Why is this blending out like a dream? And honestly, it's been sitting here for a while. <laughs> okay, let me blend down here. You guys, I'm just tapping, making sure everything's just nice and blended. Here, I have not blended the concealer part, so let's start blending here. I turned the sponge around. I'm gonna be meshing it in with that blush. Okay, girl. Okay, not with the trash people out here making all this ruckus. Just kidding. I kid, I kid, I kid. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a brush. Start kind of like blending this out. Because we have the primer here, you see how this is kind of stuck? Because that primer like helping it adhere. I'm gonna blend onto the nose. <laughs> oh, that looks crazy, but it's okay. We're about to fix it. That's the thing about makeup. Not only is it fun, like it's always fixable. I legit didn't think I would start off like this, honestly. Now, what I wanna do is really start blending that foundation, making sure everything is nice and blended. I want to really just 
top. See how everything just looks so seamless? Let's use concealer. I'm gonna use Tawny. I don't know how this shade is, but let's see. Well, Tawny's good. I'm gonna go in a little heavy, right? Like right here. With the blush, I think I'm gonna go a little over with some of the red. Something like that, right? You see how it's nice, like it's perfect there? Let me add a little bit of, just a little, a little. Maybe a little bit of white to highlight the under eyes. Like something like this. This is like one of my favorite looks, this natural wash, because I already have this colored lid. A cream bronzer on the lid, it's literally my favorite. So let's add a little more. And we have that primer there. Girl, this thing's not gonna move. You can't honestly create like a smoky eye. No one just do that. Let's kind of just go all here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm miss. am I missing a color? No, no, no. No, so I'm gonna continue with this side here. Look, I've been letting it sit for a while and look how it blends, so nice. It doesn't really dry because it's so creamy, but that's the formula. That's why these have always been in circulation, in use, people like them because I'm gonna use this side for the blush now. Look, it's so creamy, it's so easy to use and they're like four bucks each. Like you could legit do a whole face and probably still spend less. Then a foundation. You see, we got a little bit of intensity here. I'm gonna blend out that bronzer. This way of doing it, like under painting, I feel like it's very efficient and you get very nice results. And it's efficient because it doesn't have to be perfect. You can kind of freestyle it and go about your day. We'll get back with my foundation. Maybe add a little bit here. Always clean that up a little bit. Go over just to create that seamless look we kind of had before. I was just like experimenting. I'm excited to see how the under eyes will be. So let's maybe get this side because it's still somewhat clean. And I'm gonna really just focus it here and tapping. I wanna make sure, ooh, I don't really like mess up what I just did. You see, same list. dang. Anytime you add white, it'll always give you a highlighted look. I like to give myself a highlighted under eye with powders, but I wanted to show you how you could do it with cream. I just feel like with powders, it lasts a little bit longer. And with creams, if you put a powder that could darken your under eye area, that cream was kind of like for nothing, you know? Girl, what? I'm in disbelief. I mean, not really, but kind of. <laughs> She's looking good, she's looking good, she's looking snatched. You know, let me get the crevices of my nose. I'm probably get too excited. And let's get a little bit here. That highlighted look. This blue one's brand spanking new. They just released it and what that does is cool off anything. If your foundation, if you put it on and you look Oompa Loompa-ish, you look orange, you throw in a little bit of this blue, the coolness, it will neutralize it for you. The more you put in, the more cool it gets. So it can also get to a gray color. Beware, I've done that before. So you just wanna add a little bit and it's very pigmented. So a little bit will go a long way. Just like a red, if you have something also a little bit too warm, you can add red and it will tone it down. It won't cool it down as much as a blue because the blue is more intense. But you know, color theory, I love it. I really like it. I enjoy playing with colors and like learning and I don't know, it's just fun. Let me add a little bit of my original blush. I wanna show you how nothing looks patchy. Everything looks seamless. And mind you, I've let this dry. I was talking, I was walking around, I was sipping on my tea and look. Look how everything looks beautiful. Of course, skin prep matters. And I did use this hydrating primer, girl. Dang, okay, so let's powder up, let's powder up. I thought I had a powder, but I, I don't. We definitely have to powder everything down for two reasons. I have oily skin and things with creamy products, things tend to move, things tend to crease. Powders will just like set it down. You guys know this is my jam. I like to use two powders. You don't have to use two powders. I like to use this with any other setting powder to set the face. Let me get my powder puff. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair. The lightest shade. Therefore, it's going to give me a very highlighted look. A lot of people don't like how it doesn't like, don't like how it looks on me. I like how it looks on me, so I continue using it. And then I'm going to use the Milani Blurred Out Powder. I didn't like this one for my under eyes, but I do like it for the skin because it does blur out and mattifies well. And I need to wear this makeup all day long. I'm super amped. Can you tell? I'm like 
Good energy, good vibes, good energy, good vibes. You know what? My voice coming back. It's like a godsend because I was like, dang, imagine like my voice was really gone. A lot of people don't like my voice. People comment like, why do you sound like that? I'm like, girl, I don't know. The voice God gave me, I guess. Or my mama gave me, my daddy gave me. Okay, let me add a little bit. You always wanna blend everything out before you set. Once you set, it's done. The jig is done. If you set in creases, you will have those creases. I mean, you could fix it. Makeup is always fixable, but I always suggest do it before so you don't have to go back. And so I am going to, I like to bake. So I'm just gonna throw it in like this. Really tap it in, look straight ahead. Cause you naturally stare like this. You want to set your under eye like this. I'll typically go up and then come back down like that. And then I'll let this bake for a little bit. While that settles in, I start my face. I'm gonna get the Milani powder and I like to always go around. Girl, let me not get all this powder on my tea. Hold on. Remember we put that highlighter on? We need a set because I'm going to become glowier a little bit faster than if I didn't add any glowy radiant products, especially cream products. I'll set the lids just a little bit, but I'll really set it down with the bronzer. And because I don't wanna bake my under eyes too much, I'm gonna start getting rid of the powder. And the way I do it is I just tap it in. Look how seamless everything looks. I was using this for a hot minute. I didn't see it online to for purchase. So I, I guess I should check before I use it, but I'm, st I'm still using it. So I'm going to just add a little bit here. Girl, we are committed to this brown smoky eye. Not bad, uh -uh. Like a brown eye like this looks pretty good, especially because I told you guys I have this colored lid. It gives a natural-ish look. You can always bring it down here a little bit. To give a bit of a smoked out effect. And always bring it down on the nose. Follow what you already had done with the creams. Powder bronze up. You don't have to powder because we already bronzed up, but I want it to look a little more intense. So I'm just gonna tap in the powder bronzer where I added the cream bronzer. I like tapping motions. I just find that it looks a little better. It looks a little smoother. You can add a little bit here. And I'm doing like a double setting motion. I set with the Milani powder and then I'm setting with the bronzer powder just so we get that reinforcement since I am going to be using this makeup all day long what time is it it's 11 we'll do a wear test why not right I don't know how long it will be so I have LA girls this palette the island hottie palette girl I don't know like if this is these are kind of light for me we're about to use this pink this has shimmer I don't really want to go with shimmer but F it, one, two taps. See how this is gonna look. These shades are a little too light for my skin tone. It's subtle, you know, like me. Girl, I'm using the wrong brush. Wow, that's why you can't see it. It's this brush. What is wrong with me? And a little more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the brush, my bad, my bad. I'm over here like talking mess. Girl, girl. Okay, let me clean my hand. Look at my hands. <laughs> Wipe this off. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Not too much. This powder is super matte. So it's like, it kind of stays put when you place it. So I'm all for, but then I'm like, wait, you know, I forget what powders are super matte. And then when I put it on, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. You can't leave her on too long. I love me a good cream situation. I need to fix this. This looks funky. It looks good in certain angles, but if I go, like if you turn, you see, but like here it looks fine. Why did you playing tricks on me all the time. You know what I really want to see is these under eyes. Look at the lids, look how smooth. No texture, anything. Under eyes. Oh, oh, oh wait, look. Look at all this powder. Hold on, let's turn off the lights again. She matches her skin tone because we eyeballed it. All right, let me finish up. I'm out of wing, mascara, BRB. Familia, I'm back. No lie, it's been like an hour and a half. <laughs> and you can see like, Skin warmth is happening. Girl, girl, this skin looks so freaking good. And look, let's get, let's get into the nitty gritty. You see how I told you it gets glowier faster because of the glow underneath? Wait, why aren't we blending here? Hold on. What is this? Eee. I don't know what that is, but girl, why does the skin look so flawless? Lids look beautiful. Let's see how the under eyes are looking. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I wanna show you guys, I put this brown eyeliner from LA Girl. It is the shade Deepest Brown. And you guys, I was looking for all my LA Girl lip liners in chocolate. I found three. 
And then I have Armani like in the middle for the lip. I'm just feeling this. I really like this. We ended up using two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 shades. Each reach over $4 would be $44 for a full face. Not too shabby. We can use these multiple, multiple ways. We created custom shades. We created custom glow, custom eyeshadow, custom everything. I absolutely just love how it's like that natural look that we're trying to achieve because we did do the Mary Phillips method of, what is it called again? I cannot think of it. I'll put it on the screen because it's gonna pop up in my head. Girl, girl, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these LA Girl concealers. Have you used them? Have you been eyeing them? Have you seen the new shades? The glow one and the blue one are new to me. I have never seen those. I'm loving like these. Oh my God, this iridescent glow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I didn't put highlight either. Today was super fun. Today was like, such a experimental artistic way of doing makeup which is super easy but i always forget to do it you know and i just i love when we have a good makeup day do i have lipstick on my teeth no okay family i just want to give you another pov in front of my window girl i love the highlighted i love the skin tone shade that's what i'm trying to say girl look look i'm just like why do i feel like i have lipstick on my teeth do i okay but you guys look at the skin it's been about eight hours. It looks so good. Nothing's breaking apart. Ooh. It's like high-end skin today, huh? I love it. I love it. I said I wasn't gonna do a wear test this long, but I just had to because this skin is a bomb. 10, 25 p.m. Look, look. Gastana, wear. I really wasn't gonna do the wear test, but look at this skin. I got complimented on my skin so much today. Nothing's moving. Look at the lids. Look at the under eyes. Why are these still so smooth? Anyway, I just wanted to show you really quick. I love this. All these concealers. LA Girl is like the true MVP. $40 face. Let's call it like a $50 face. Yeah, what do you think? Let me know. So yeah, this is it fam. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I right, girl look. This is how excited I am. Okay, for real, bye.